The debug and trace options will be discussed later. For now we'll move to the profile which shows you some real-time statistics of the route. It will give you for each camel component, whether it's an endpoint or mediation, statistics are provided for a number of times fired and processing time. Now let's look at the debug and trace options of the Hort IO console. So what is the difference actually between trace and debug? For instance, for trace you send a bunch of messages to the bus and you get detailed trace of message transitions through a route, history based. In debug mode you send a single message through the bus and inspect it during the processing of all message transition steps in a route, which is basically real time. In the debug you can apply for breakpoints and in progress inspection. I will show you both. So what I will do first is I will demonstrate the, uh, the trace uh, capabilities. Um, go to the trace tab. Um, I would like to reuse actually the, the, um, the message sending capabilities of the, uh, the dashboard or of the console, but um, as soon as you switch back to an ActiveMQ um, uh, part, your tracing stops. So what I will do, I'll open another tab and here I will focus on the ActiveMQ and I will send here in plain text um, a message once I started here the tracing. Tracing is started and I will send a message here copy all of the data into the message body and we'll send it. Message is sent. If we move back to the trace window, you will see that one message has arrived. One message has been processed. You can see the processing times here. And the document has been splitted. And apparently the document has been splitted into two persons moving to the United States, two persons moving to Asia, and two persons moving to the default Amsterdam queue. And here you can actually follow all these messages that have been sent. I will click one of the messages and as you can see on top this is where the message started. It was the original message received from the message broker and here are the details. Also headers are available for further inspection. So let's move to the next step. The message being sent to the talent job. And as a result of the talent job, it was sent to the splitter component. As you can see, the talent job basically converted the CSV format to the, the, the XML document shown earlier in the screencast. And here we can click through every step. This is the Amsterdam because I'm in the location Europe. Here we have a location Asia and if I'm not mistaken it's going to the Asia queue and we can follow step by step all the messages until the last message has been processed and the last one to go to the Asia queue. Okay, all messages have been processed by the route. We have seen tracing. Let's see the results on the queue. Here we have the dynamically created queue New York, Singapore and Amsterdam. When we are browsing the queue, you will see two messages for Amsterdam, simple XML, including all camel headers and properties and the employee full name. Same for the New York office and the same for the Singapore office. As you can see, we modified an existing route, we traced it and we get a result on all the output queues. Now let's zoom into debugging. 
The debugging tab basically offers you the same functionality as the trace tab with the difference that you can actually put breakpoints on components. And let's do that. Let's put a breakpoint just after our talent job. I select the component and I click on the plus to add a breakpoint. To the component, a yellow dot is added to show that the breakpoint is here. Let's go back to the ActiveMQ view and to our incoming queue and put the message there. In this case, I will just put a single line to make debugging a bit easier. Message is sent. Here, the talent job now received a second message and the processing is stopped on the document person splitter. We can see the message on the splitter component, we can inspect it and we can see what has been gone wrong or right. Next we'll move on and the message is processed until the end. In this case it ends up on the Amsterdam queue. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have some new screencasts planned, one on the Hot.io teamwork where I will zoom in how you can share test data and routes with each other. Um, I will go in a bit more into online route design, which also that's a feature of Hot.io and deploy it to the ESB. And I'm planning a JBoss Wildfly screencast. What data can we get from the JBoss uh, application server using Hot.io? Also pay attention, I will publish a new Camel screencast series. I will zoom into my Camel toolbox, transaction handling and complex transformations. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you provide some feedback. All the best. Bye.